sometimes we receive tickets and we know exactly that we should call the customer back right away. Well, when you have a telephony system that is not directly connected to your system of record, in our case Zendesk, it can sometimes take quite some time and you don't have good records of the calls you did. Well, with Babelforce there is a much better possibility which I want to introduce to you today. Um, because we have the possibility with Babelforce to call the customer with one click. Let me show you. You open the email, you see you really want to call the customer. You have the Babel Connect app on your right hand side. In case you already logged in, you will see automatically the number of the customer filled in in the Babel Connect app and you all you have to do is click call and you directly get in touch with the customer. Let me show you. You see my telephone is ringing and we have a new ticket. You are now able to talk with the customer, leave some notes as always. And you have the timestamp and the tags that indicate this is a call ticket. And you even have another possibility. Instead of um, creating a new ticket, you might want to have the ticket attached to the email. This way it's all in one ticket. It's also not a problem. For this, we have this little drop down menu. Instead of create ticket, you want to choose a pen ticket. Let me show you how that looks like. The phone is ringing again. And look, isn't that amazing? Now the call is recorded on the email. Now you might be wondering how that is actually possible. Well, let me show you. It's very simple. You just need to use the Babelforce manager for that. To achieve this, we need some events and we need a few triggers. We should always start with triggers because without the triggers, you cannot create events. So let's start with triggers then. Type outbound and double check. Maybe those triggers already agree. Let me quickly walk you through each and explain what they do. So the first one is the outbound first call like to end user. This trigger is needed to find the user in Zendesk. So you establish that the call domain is external, you ex establish that the call type is outbound, and finally you're saying that the call source is API. This means that Zendesk created the call in our case. It could also be Freshdesk or any other SOR, and that it was not a call that was coming to your agent um, through a queue. You can of course choose any trigger name. We always suggest to use one that we have here and the logic type should be match all triggers. In case you do not have the trigger in your system already, it's very easy. You just need to click add trigger, you fill in the name here, you choose the logic type, you click save and then you can directly fill in all the expressions which I just showed to you. But let me show you the other two as well. So we have outbound first call like to agent plus ticket mode created, which is almost the same as the one we already saw. The one important difference is the Zendesk ticket mode, which is equal to create, because in this case, this trigger will only then be triggered if Zendesk is creating a new ticket. And the same is for the last one. In this case, we have append as condition for this trigger. So it's very easy. After you've created those tickets, you go to events, which you find below the triggers. You search for possibly already existing triggers. In this case, you'll search for OB, which we usually use as an abbreviation for outbound. Again, you need three events, which um, align with the trigger you just created and we start with the lookup end user in Zendesk. After you gave a label you set the priority which does not need to be 2900 but it sh should still be a rather high number. The event is called created and the action is lookup end user because with this specific event we want to make sure 
the user calling can be identified because in case the customer has already been in contact with you Zendesk will, and that's the great thing, Zendesk will append the ticket to the existing Zendesk account with the matching number so you have a perfect record of every contact you ever had with the customer. Then you choose your trigger that you just created. As I said this is the one for looking up the user in Zendesk, outbound first contact to agents. Very importantly, don't forget to make sure you have chosen the correct integration. Perfect, you click save, done. If you do not have any of these three events, you of course need to add the trigger. Yeah, and then you just follow exactly the same steps I just showed you. Then let's look at the next one. This is the um, outbound create ticket on start of first call like to agent. And in this case, as I already said, we create a ticket. The priority should be a little lower than the one before. The event is the same. It's call created. The, um, the action is create ticket. So the event creates a new ticket. And here is the matching trigger. Ticket mode created. Perfect. Again, integration, just check it's correct. And then there are a couple of more things you can do here. Um, for instance, you can enter a comment. The ticket subject, we suggest it to be outgoing bubble force voice call, but of course, again, you can choose any name you want. But let me explain to you this little curly bracket thing here. That's one expression, um, which says call from number. You might be wondering, well, from number, isn't that my number? So the outcalling number? And in this case, not, because it's a little twisted. The customer is actually calling the platform, and that's why it is the from number. You also have the possibility to add a ticket comment. In this case, we have almost the same wording as in the subject, but it's up to you how you name it. Next, you have the ownership. Make sure the ticket requester is the current end user, the assignee is the current agent. This way the ticket will be pushed. Um, because we're creating a new ticket, we also want to set a few tags. This is important for your reporting. We suggest to set Babel for so you know which system created the ticket and that it is a call outbound. Because you want to know what kind of call was made. And that's it. For the last event, it's almost the same. The only difference here is uh, you set the little lower priority. You should never have two priorities being the same. Um, and the di difference is that that's not a ticket created, but an update ticket. And that's really the central difference. That's also why you choose the um, trigger ticket mode append. And one difference you also find here in the comment section, you should not set a ticket subject because otherwise the existing ticket subject will be overwritten. And you don't want that because you might send out another email and then there's a very weird ticket subject um, sent to the customer. Ownership is the same. Uh, the last difference we have is in tags and also not an important one. You don't want to set tags because otherwise all existing tags will be overwritten and that can again be very confusing for the reporting. You want to add a tag. And this way they will just be added on top of the already existing tag. And that's it. It's so simple as I said. Just give it a try. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to get in contact with us.